it's like, oh my God, it's so great to see somebody that is of my background. I, it's so great to finally see Hispanics talking out about it. You know, I've never seen that before. You know, and, and it makes it like, oh, it felt really good. And I'm glad that it's actually helping someone or, you know, I'll get, oh, you inspired me to, you know, come out as a gun owner. Like it's something mm -hmm. to come out about. But um, yeah, I, I realized it's like, I, I let go of whatever thing I have with, you know, my conflict because it's, it's honestly for the greater good. It, it's really making a difference. I'm like really out there and I have a wall of guns. And I'm trying to let people know that this is my life because I'm trying to help you guys. I'm not saying, hey, go buy a thousand dollar pistol and put an optic on it and then like go train with the Marines. No, but I'm here to help you bridge those gaps. Some people get stuck on what they wanted it to be. You know, when mm. it first started, I wanted it to be like this. But Fall in love with the vision. If it's not, exactly. If it's not working, you gotta change it. It really is that yin and yang. And that's why I've always had an appreciation for uh, liberalism as a theory, as an ideology, as a belief system, as I naturally have as conservatism, because I've always realized the two are like symbiotic partners, if you will. You cannot have one without the other, bro. But we don't view things that way anymore. And I think that's kind of why we're in the mess that we currently are in as a country. And I think it's also why we're just so divided because we don't have that, that, that perspective that we used to have as a country. He's an army vet, Korean War, uh, he's a tank operator. And he used to just, you know, tell me stories, you know, and I'm in fifth, sixth grade, all in. You know, at that age, you think, you know, grandpa says you story about him driving a tank, they're getting shot at, you think of straight action. But you hear stuff like that, and you just get a sense of pride. You know, now my grandpa was Korean, came home. We are becoming more and more confident in our appearance and in um, our talents. And at the same time, a lot of us still struggle in defending ourselves. That, that is why the advent of social media has been so profound because it, it just, it allows people to see other people like them and not like them all across the country, all across the world, doing similar things, same things, more ambitious things. You're getting ideas from other people. You're seeing barriers broke down every single day. Um, so, so it's about being real. It's about being about something.